Hello YouTubers, it's me again. And today I'm just going to be doing a short video of this topic that I just learned. And the title of this topic is called Easy Believism Defending. Uh, before I begin, let's say a quick prayer. Uh, dear God, thank you for I appreciate you to explain what your word says concerning this topic. And I give you praise and glory for this thing. So just now pray, man. Okay, turn to uh, in the book of Matthew. Uh, Matthew. And I'm, and I'm going to show you from the scriptures that that uh, that it's easy for a person to get saved. Anybody could do it, including a little child, because Jesus one who Jesus Christ, he's the one who said, "Come to me as a little child." But yet, there are so many people out there who's trying to attack this easy believism because they don't believe that it's easy for a person to get saved. So therefore, they want to make salvation difficult by by saying you got you got uh repent or turn from your sins or get baptized. They're trying to put heavy burden upon people's shoulders. That's what they're doing. Well, well, I just want to say that these people are still lost. People who teach that, these people are still lost. And uh, and I want to expose it right now. And I want to talk. Uh, that's why I'm teaching this uh, easy beliefism defending. I'm going to defend this teach because it's easy for a person to get saved. Okay, so uh, Matthew chapter 11. I'll start with verse 28. Uh, this is what Jesus said. Matthew chapter 11 verse 28. Come unto me, all ye that labor and are heavy laden, and I will give you rest. Take my yoke upon you, and learn of me. For I am meek and lowly in heart, and ye shall find rest unto your souls. For my yoke is easy, and my burden is light. You see that? Jesus said, for my yoke is easy, and my burden is light. In other words, he's saying that getting saved is very easy. You see that? And not only that, look at this. Look at Acts chapter, uh, uh, Acts chapter 16. Acts chapter 16. Let me see if I can turn there. Acts chapter 16, verse uh, 30, 31. And we'll see if getting, and we'll see if getting saved is difficult and hard. Acts chapter 16, verse 30, 31. And brought them out and said, Sirs, what must I do to be saved? And they said, Believe on the Lord Jesus Christ, and thou shalt be safe in thy house. But then you say, uh, Just believe on Jesus Christ, that's, that's all we gotta do? Yes, according to this verse right here, that's what it says we gotta do. Believe on the Lord Jesus Christ, and you'll be saved. Now, it doesn't say you gotta repent your sins to be saved. It doesn't say you gotta you gotta go to church be saved, and it doesn't say that you gotta uh you gotta uh, turn over the new leaf or get baptized or whatnot. It doesn't say you gotta do any of those things be saved. It says we gotta do only one thing, and that's to believe on Lord Jesus Christ, and you will be saved. And that's the truth right now. But if, but if you say and if you say no, I don't believe that, then then. Then you're then you're attacking the words of Jesus because Jesus Christ, he's he's the one who said to uh, to believe on him for eternal life. Uh, John John three fifteen. Whosoever believes in him should not perish, for have eternal life. And if you, and if you still say no, I don't believe that. Then you're calling Jesus Christ a liar, and and therefore you worship another Jesus, and you're still lost, and you're still blind. I know it's pretty. That's pretty sad. So. Anyway, that's pretty much all I had in the course of play. Uh, Dick, I thank you for your Uh Thank you for to explain what your word says. I give you praise, honor, and glory for all these things. And just now pray. Amen.